We will prosper. We serve a God that has prosperity on his mind. He said in the Bible that I will have you be in health and good health and wealth and prosper even as your soul shall. See, your soul got to make a motion first. That's right. But it don't come without standing the test. It don't, stand, it don't come without a dry season. It don't come without a wilderness experience. Sometimes God will put you in the wilderness just to see if you know your way out. See? Do y'all remember that we talked about how the enemy that came up against Moses and the children. Mm -hmm. And before the enemy could get to him, God put a pillar of fire right in the midst of him. And on this side where the enemy was, it was dark. It couldn't see. So they couldn't move in the darkness. But on this side, where God's people were, was light. And then when God decided it was time in that season, and when everything had come to a place where the people had crossed over on the other side, he said he let the fire go out. And when the enemy came running down to try to pursue them, they said they perished. God said, I brought you out on the other side. God said, I made a way out of nowhere for you. Yes, How many here this morning got something this month that you didn't have last month? Amen. Raise your hand. Amen. So God said, I made a way out of nowhere. I brought you to a place of safety. Now you're in your season. What you going to do? What you going to do? God said, I deliver you from drugs. I deliver you from alcohol. I deliver you from lust. I deliver you from yourself. Amen. Amen. See, some of us won't be delivered from other stuff, but we ought to be delivered from others. That's right. First of all, I can't tell you nothing until I get me together. And the Bible says, how can two walk together? They said they agree. Amen. That means that we got to come together sometime and agree on the same thing. Come on. <laughs> I understand that we got to know that this season is coming. Y'all, y'all, y'all work with me now. How many want something from God this morning? Raise your hand. Be honest. How are we supposed to get The Bible said, ask. Huh? Seek and knock. And the door will be open. How many of you have asked? How many of you are seeking? How many of you are knocking? If you're not doing those three things, he said, the death by the door that comes on you. Because I told you to ask, seek, and knock. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the only way I can ask God for something is I can pray. Come on now. Come on. See, you asking God, but you ain't praying to God. See, you say you seeking God, but you ain't trying to find him. Yeah. It, it, you ain't really looking for him. Because uh, the Bible said, after these 70 years, mm. I'm going to hold you in captivity. Uh -huh. I'm going to let you stay right where you live. Yeah. Because I want you to make the best of where you at. See, the children was in the Babylonian had come in and, and got them and put them in the city and had them in captivity. But God said, I ain't gonna bring you out of this city until you learn to appreciate where you is. Some of us, God ain't gonna bring us out until we appreciate where he has us. Come on, man. Some of us want God to move right there. And God said, no, I gotta hold you there just a little while longer. He said, because when you in this city, even though you're in the city of captivity, make the best of it. Don't, don't keep talking about I'm living in a house. Say I'm living in a home. Dress it up. Prepare it. Clean it up. Uh -oh. mm. While you're in this place, make the best of it. Because when, when I come, if I finally do what I tell you to do, he said, then. Y'all remember I said that God is seeking them that will worship him. And spirit and the truth. See, to worship God don't mean just to come here on Sunday and holler and cry and throw your hands up. Worship God means that every opportunity you get. Every opportunity. 
I thank God for my good times. I thank God for my bad times. I thank God for my seeing nothing days. I thank God for everything that He has done in my life. Even still, I told a person one time, I thank God for what you did for me. Amen. What do you mean? When you treated me bad, that made me a better person. That's right. Amen. So I thank God for you. Amen. Because they had not been for you, I wouldn't have moved on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's right. See, we're too busy looking at things in a negative form. Uh -huh. Some things that come in our life to push us closer to God. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that some of these situations, if we went on about our business, we wouldn't have been where we at now in the Lord? Come on, Brother Lynn. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Some things going to push us closer. Amen. For the Bible says that we know that all things work to the good, to them that love Him, that are called according to His purpose. It ain't about you, no way. That's right. We were created to work. Our purpose is to serve Amen. Him. Amen. Amen. What's your purpose? To serve the Lord. That's why He got me here. To serve Him. That's right. And if I learn how to serve Him, I can serve you. Amen. Until all that. Oh, come on, man. Amen. I'm a man. Amen. You can't tell me nothing. Stop you ain't no man until you get the rich from the man. -made. Come on, now. Yeah, because you make babies, that don't mean you know that. There's a whole lot of immature women, a whole lot of immature boys. That's right. Then they made a baby. Come on, man. I ain't no man. Huh. You just overgrown up baby. Amen. Amen. Cause you ain't got no direction from God. And young women, you don't need nobody that you got to take care of. Y'all be taking care of you. That's right. Oh, huh. man. I ain't gonna be a man, and when the bills are there, not just though you get that money. Well, <laughs> oh, come on now, that's, that's right. true. That's right. If I'm gonna be a man, I'm gonna step up to the plate and be a man all the time. That's right. So I ain't gonna be a man when it's necessary for me. That's I ain't right. gonna be a man on the first of the month. That's you right. get your check. Now I'm watching you play, man, make sure nobody else don't get none of that. Come on, man. And then around the fifth, I can't find you. Come on, man. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Oh, let's get this thing right. Get it right. See, when I was a child, I thought I was a child. Yeah. I did as a child. But oh. when I became a man, I was a child of things. Let me right. tell you something, ladies. If your husband, your boyfriend, or something, tell me, honey, I'm going to be with the boy. You tell him you stay right there because I'm a man. I don't need no more. Speak. <laughs> Speak. What? I don't heard about no one. A man <laughs> does not hang with boys. Thank you. If I'm going to be with the boy, uh -huh. that's the mentality I got. Amen. Women don't need boys. That's They're right. raising boys. Amen. Amen. 